Hello, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. This is the Sunday Club reacting to yesterday's 2-1 win over Steve Morrison's Cardiff at the Den. Listen, um, I think in the, in, the, in the end we deserve the win. I think in the end we deserve the win. It's going to be a short video because um, it's the first half really... Was there anything in the first half, sorry, that was worth talking over? I don't really think so. Um, but yeah, it, at the end of the day, listen, football's a result business, um, and we got to win. We got to win. So, um, in my eyes, I'm happy. Um, listen, realistically, we're on 40 points now. Um, one more win, and we should make it, make it secure, basically. Um, I don't think we deserve the win. Overall, I think we played the better football. I did think we played the better football. Yes, Cardiff looked a threat at times going forward. Um, um, Jordan Hugo looked a threat at times using his Premier League brain, winning a couple of fouls. Um, but in the first half, we looked like we didn't know what to do with the ball. Um, the movement is... There was movement there, but it was too static. It was too static. Um, we didn't really know what to do with the ball. Same with Cardiff. They didn't really know what to do with the ball. Um, Steve Morrison said that they they looked leggy. Um, they didn't get their press right um, because he's blaming it on the amount of features they had. But listen, let's leave that here. Let's leave the first half there. There was nothing in the game for both teams. We weren't bad, we weren't good. Both teams just cancelling each other out. Maybe with a feeling out period. Don't know. Um, but then we come out and we look better. We look better, we look stronger. And we look fitter. As soon as we got that goal, it looked like a weight was lifted off our shoulders. And then we went to get the second goal. Um, but what I've got to do is, what I've got to say is, why the hell do we wait until the second half? It seems over the last few weeks, it seems over these last few weeks that we wait until the second half to go for a game. Why don't we go for a game from from the off? Yes, we looked angry at times going forward in the first half. Um, Ollie Burke, the judgment still out on him. The government still don't want him. I'm still on the fence with him. With him, I'm going to give him a few more games to try and get fit, fitter. He looked angry going forward. At times, um, at at times, um, it looked like he wasn't interested. It looks like he was drifting in and out on the game. Um, but he's got pace. He, uh, he looks a threat at times going forward. So I'm not going to say anything on him. I'm going to give him a few more games and I'm going to make my judgment from there. So it was a decent performance from him. Decent performance from um, the whole team, basically. To, to be honest, the whole team. Um, Billy Mitchell, um, I love him. I love him. He's about to sign a new contract. Um, he's a future in this club, but he looks tired. He looks leggy. He looks like he's burnt out. Give him a rest, maybe. Um, Kong Beef, absolutely brilliant. Again, superb. Um, winning everything. Fighting for the calls. Um, Shaggy. He don't know why. Nothing spectacular. Nothing nothing bad. He don't know why. Um, he won a couple of balls off of Cardiff in the first half. Um, put the ball through from um, Ollie Burke. That ne he nearly got on the end of. Um, Benny Kofobi. Even though that shot he should have scored in the second half. Was offside. He still got to score that in my opinion. He looked good in spells. He looked absolutely terrible in spells. I hope you get where I'm coming from with that. Um, but it's looking like he's now injured. So who do we play up front? This is why we needed a centre forward in the January window. Hopefully it's not that bad. Because he's the number nine. He's the only number nine in the club. Hopefully it's not that bad. Um, I don't know why we didn't buy a centre forward. Or at least keep hold of Smith. I do not know why. Um... But second half, we look better. We look better. We come out. We wanted to try and take the game to Cardiff a little bit. And like I said, once we got that goal, um, the pressure was off our shoulders a little bit. And then we could just let the shackles go a little bit and enjoy the football. We were knocking the ball around. There was a couple of good patterns of play. Um, Benno and Benno and Sav, when they come on, they change the game. Sav all looked good when he come on. 
Ben Owen is just electric. He's been good for the next last few weeks. He deserved the goal. But yeah, we leave that one there. Should they have had a penalty? I think so. I can see why the referee didn't give it because it was absolutely smashed it in for about a yard. Um, so get over that, Morrow. Um, listen, we move on. We move on. Um, it's going to be a tough game under the lights at, um, in the week against Cardiff. It's going to be um, Cardiff, um, Queen's Park Rangers. It's going to be a very, very tough game. They're flying. They did lose yesterday to Barnsley, so it shows they can be beaten. Um, but just listen, boys. In the week, um, we need to go from it from the off. Do we play four or five at the back? Probably. Um, I wouldn't play it. But the gaffer will play it. Was that a get out of a jail free card for the gaffer? Um, yesterday, possibly. There is rumours that he's off at the end of the season. There is rumours that he's fallen out with Steve Kavanagh. There is rumours that the club won't give him, give him and be giving him a new contract because it's up in the summer. Um, there is rumours that he's even looking for not, around for other jobs. I don't know. Um, I don't think he will be here next season. I think he will leave. I think he will not be given a new contract. And I think he can just walk with his head held high. Had it worked out for Mule at him, him, at, had, sorry, had it worked out for him at Mule, um, some people might say it has, some people might say it hasn't. He's given us some memorable moments, none other than the 3-0 smashing at Nottingham Forest on a Friday night. Um, the the victory over the Animax. But listen, let him see this season out. Is he the man to take this club forward? I don't think so. There's a massive rebuilding job coming in the summer. Um, there's loads of players out of contract, including Jed. So, listen, you can get rid of him. Let him walk. Let him walk now. Let him walk. Um, bring a new manager in. And let's see if we can get Jed tied down to a new contract under a new manager. New style of play. No ideas. New beginning. Um, there's loads of players out of contract. Let him bring their own, his own players in. Get rid of all these crap players he don't want. And yeah. But listen. Let's get back to yesterday. We got the job done in the end. And I thought. That's all that matters. To be honest. Um, yes we played good in spells. Yes we didn't play good in spells. Yes players played well in spells. Yes players didn't play well in spells. Don't know why George Evans come on by the way. What did he. What. I'd, I can see why he done it because of the time wasting tactics. Um, they did manage to get a consolation in the end. Was it poor defending? Possibly. Cooper, I think, been all over the place. He needs Danny Ballard back next to him. But yeah, onwards and upwards. I will see you back today with fan score predictions for the visit of Queen's Park Rangers to the Den. Um, over and out. Finishes yesterday at the Den. 2 1 to the Lions. One more win, boys. One more win and we're fine. We're fine. Just one more win. That's all. Come on, you guys.